Hi everyone, Dr. Susan Brown with Alkaline for Life. Today I want to talk about minerals and I want to show you a very simple at-home test you can do to get a rough idea if you have enough minerals, if you have mineral adequacy. This little test pertains actually to looking at the first morning urine. But before we get into that, let me talk just a bit about minerals. Minerals are some of the basic building blocks of life. As you know, there's 16 minerals that are actually essential that we cannot live without. We must consume these minerals in our diet. And it's kind of an interesting story. The minerals are in the soil. The bacteria breaks down those minerals. The plants take the minerals up into their bodies. Then we eat the plants or we eat the animals that have eaten plants and we get our minerals from those animals that have eaten the plants before that. The minerals then serve so many functions in the body that it's very important to have adequate levels. Like I was looking at a recent study on magnesium and they looked at individuals who had fractured. This was in a Scandinavian country and the people over 25 years when they looked at their blood levels of magnesium, those were the highest levels had not fractured at all. We see similar kinds of insights with heart disease. We see impacts, terrific impacts of having adequate magnesium, adequate potassium, adequate calcium. Today, about a third of the people do not get adequate calcium, even though we've paid a lot of attention to that. Minerals are important. We're not getting enough. And before I show you our little homemade test, I also want to mention that as an anthropologist, it's really intriguing to me that through hundreds of thousands of years of human evolution, we had much higher mineral intake. For example, my anthropology colleagues, Eaton and Kroner, for example, have studied Paleolithic nutrition. They estimate that the mineral intake was from two to eight times higher in the years that we were evolving. For example, potassium, they document, the anthropologists document that our intake was 10,000 milligrams. Today, the government is encouraging us to get 4,700. Most people just get 2,500 perhaps. Same thing with Magnesium, it was several times higher. Iron was perhaps eight times higher. Zinc was much higher. So our body through hundreds of thousands of years of evolution is accustomed to working with higher minerals. So we want to, as much as possible, maximize our mineral intake. So you might say, okay, I see minerals are important, but how can I, what's this little home test about? Well, the home test, has to do with pH balance. And some of you might have seen my book, Acid Alkaline Food Guide. And it's really kind of an interesting thing. The, if I look at the first morning urine and look at the pH, that pH, if it's 6.5 to 7.5, it suggests that I have enough alkalizing compounds, carbonates, citrates, to make that pH be in the slight, perhaps in the slightly alkaline range. It's interesting because what does this have to do with minerals? Because those alkalizing compounds are attached to minerals. So if I don't have enough alkalizing compounds, if I can't bring my pH to 6.5 to 7.5, then indirectly we can really presume that the person doesn't have enough minerals. And in clinical practice, we see this all the time. As people start to remineralize their diet, eat more of these nutritious plant foods, more of the high mineral foods and nuts and seeds and whatnot, their pH changes and their mineral intake and their mineral reserves increase. If this all sounds a bit confusing to you, it's discussed in our Alkaline Diet Starter Kit, the whole science of pH balance and how the simple little action of measuring your first morning urine can tell you a great deal about your mineral adequacy and your ability to have optimum repair activities within the body. Give it a try, let me know how it goes and we'll talk soon.